Hello everybody and welcome to week one of the Mount Silver League. Uh, I'm versing Dom, my good friend Dom, and the Clevelanders Cavaliers for this week. Um, so, he has a team, that's uh, definitely something he has. Uh, Road and Wash, going to be annoying to deal with. Uh, Shaman, annoying. Clefable, bane of my existence. Um, Mega Agron, uh, he's got the Latios and the Dumb Manitan. I'm bringing my Mega Metacham. Um, Drain Punch, Fake Out, Ice Punch, Poison Jab, pretty, pretty standard. Uh, Kyram, Earth. Power, Ice Beam, Roost, Sub. Um, takes hits from the Mega Agron decently. Um, Scolopede also takes hits from the Mega Agron decently. Umbreon is my <coughs> main specially defensive wall. Um, I've got a Shookerberry and Polion here. Get Stealth Rocks up at some point. Uh, Substitute Endeavor X is a Spikes Scolopede with the Black Sludge and uh, Fire Z um, Magmortar. Alright, uh, what do I want to lead with though? That's the question. Uh, assuming that he might want to lead with the Mega Agron, I think leading with the Magmortar is my best bet. I have EV'd this so that it always lives in Earthquake from the Mega Agron, even if it's, um, even if it is adamant max attack, which I don't expect, but you never know. Uh, I do have Z Sunny Day to get that speed boost, um, but Dumanitan being here kind of uh, makes that not the best thing to be able to do. Um, leading with Umbreon could be nice. Getting a charm onto onto something. Hmm. I think I wanted to lead. I think I want to lead Magmortar. I just feel like, a, yeah, Mega Agron lead is quite likely. Um, so I Z. Uh, well, actually, I think I just normal sunny day here. I don't try and Z at the moment. And then I just go for the overheat. Uh, overheat in the sun should be enough to Okay, so he's just gonna switch out. Understandable. Go go Empoleon. I think actually. I'll go into Umbreon here. I can wish and baton pass into something else. He's quite likely to Volt Switch here, to be honest. Um. Take that D-Glam and Baton Pass out of there. I can go into the Scolopede here. This should potentially force the Shaman out, I believe. Um, Agron could come in, but that allows me to start setting up some spikes, that's for sure. 
So he's got some stuff that doesn't mind spikes being up, to be honest. Um, still got another turn from maybe it would have been better to go back into Magmorda So he's not gonna. He's got the earth power. Interesting. What is Scalopede doing to a shaman? Earth power is 52.6%. X scissors is gonna be hitting pretty dang hard as well. Um. Let's hit with an X scissor. 40, okay, so it's fairly defensive by the looks. Uh, let's see. I do. I did forty eight percent. So definitely not that defensive. Probably especially bulky, I guess. Um For one more here. Does he stay in? I don't think he stays in. Does he lose Shaman already? Do I have much that worries about Shaman? I get a big endeavor off next, no matter what, so. Getting Ronan Wash down that low is good. Shaman's down really low, that's good. I still got stuff that can deal with Agron, that's good. I get to see what he wants to go into here.
So both of the, well, I mean, some of his main walls are quite low now, which is nice. Um, Darmanitan is always still going to be a problem. Agron is always still going to be a problem. Let's see, Clefable. Fuck, I hate this thing so much. Um... Metacham. They get into poison jab, still not gonna kill this thing. Um Kyram. Double ice beam could if it's bulky. Umbreon. <coughs> Getting my Mega up and faking out here is going to be my best bet. Um, and I'll be able to see what kind of damage that does. Uh, to find out what kind of Clefable this is. Hopefully, if he stays in to take the fake out, Moonblast will Okomi, uh, or has a, if it's offensive, it will Okomi. If it's defensive, it has a chance of Okoing me. If I can get this thing down low. Alright, so 18%. So... Not defensive, maybe? Still unlikely that... Um, well, it's Poison Jab's still not going to kill if it's... If it's still bulky here. Uh huh. I need another round of that. Um, of that fake out, really. Um. That's annoying. Now, this was especially defensive, maybe. Better jam. This shaman. Actually, it was it was physically defensive. But it, it wasn't full physically defensive, I don't think. Huh. Magma would just goes for a big overheat here, I think. Though a sunny day does good too. I should have Z sunny day. Whoops.
Yeah, that kind of fucked me just there, I think. The thing could be scarfed. Probably scarfed. Um, Garm, Sun, Darmanitan. If it's scarfed, I live a flare blitz in the sun with Kyrim, so. It's got the superpower, okay. Stops his attack. Uh, let's see, attack minus one. If he brings in if he brings in <coughs> uh right on wash last beam should still kill. All right, that's actually real good for me. That's put Clefable in range of my poison jab. I guess not. Kevia Berry, so I mean that makes sense. Let's see. Um, does he go into the Agron here? 
Metacham, Drain Punch on the Clefable. It's not defensive. Well, that's annoying. Okay. Stealth rocks up. Probably goes into the Rotom Wash here. Oh god, why do people just <laughs> not bring the Clefable sets that I'm expecting? Um, so annoying to deal with. Drops my special attack, of course. Of course. Uh, unaware, of course. That's 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 good too. Um, getting a burn would be nice. I mean, but he probably has heal bell too, you know. Crit, please. <laughs> That'd be good. I mean, as long as I keep scolding, Rotom Wash can't come in. I could go for the Ice Beam Freeze as well, but... Uh, I mean, if I can't even get a Scald Burn, what's the chance of me getting a Freeze? The jam against the Clefable once again. It's not defensive. This will go up to Ah oh, Dom, stop it. <clears throat> Should be able to just poison jab here. Yep, there we go. <sighs> I 
good work, Manicham, getting rid of that Clefable, that annoying, annoying Clefable. Um, Empoleon is down low, but what do we expect from that, really? Um, Agron's going to be able to heavy slam me to death. Latios. Go into Empoleon, just sack that off here. Yep, Draco. Uh, get an Ice Beam. Actually, let's see. Can I, uh, Empoleon. Ice Beam's gonna do a chunk. But Scold is gonna be better for any switch ins. That's right. Rotom's down as well. That was understandable. Uh, he just brings Latios in again, probably. He could go Agron here, uh, but I will move faster than the Agron, probably. So it could be Dimanitan comes in to get the kill here. Flare Blitz is going to be doing something. Um, either way, I let Empoleon go down at the moment. Agron does come in, okay. Uh, Scold. Nice, no burn. That's all right. <laughs> Let's see, Metacham verse. Uh, actually, I'll check what kind of damage that was. Polyon verse. <coughs> Agron Mega. I definitely did more than that. Um, it did 45%, so it's not specially defensive, and it doesn't look like it's too bulky either. So, I mean, it would have been a less than mineral. It's got some bulk. Uh, but it's not max bulk. Maybe about 150. Somewhere around there. Um... Metacham, Fake Out does nothing. I'd have to Drain Punch. Uh, I, I think Chiron comes in and Earth Powers. What do I sub here? I go for the sub, see what he wants to do. If he switches out, that's really good for me. He doesn't switch out, okay. Oh, he goes for the toxic though, that's even better. Ooh, okay, special defense.
Um. <clears throat> this is going to be tough. Let's see what he did to my Umbreon with Darmanitan there. Blurb with 68.7 is quite in the range of a Scar set. Let's see uh, if Kyron comes in. I think that's game. Um, yeah. Should have ah, fuck. That still worked out. Uh, I think he kills with Draco here. Yeah, if if he hits. Sorry about that, I still got a bit of a cough, but um Yeah, uh there's definitely different things I could have done for sure. But I played pretty well to bring that back. Uh I, I guess I probably should have either Z Sunny Dade with the Magmorta or not Sunny Dade with the Magmorta at all, because uh I mean that was tough to deal with. Um I guess maybe I should have gone into Kyrim once I'd charmed the Mega Agron. Could have charmed the Mega Agron another time as well. I think that probably would have been my best bet, actually. Um, but what can you do? Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.